Should we be worried? Should we trade off the threat of tariffs, Guy? I think you can trade the bond market off it. Clearly, the equity market is not worried, but I think the bond market should. Next year, we're going to have $1.5 trillion just in interest to service the debt. Think about that. And then that's on top of all the issuances that have to be done in 2025. Now, this might be the right course of action without question. But again, I think it's inflationary. And I don't think the bond market at 4.3 percent in the 10 years of pricing it in. At 4.5 percent two weeks ago, I don't think it was pricing it in. So for me, the way to play this is through the bond market, thinking yields will go higher. I mean, you hear about it, like on the headline, pushing back against Trump and against the U.S., uh, who is the biggest economy in the world. Mexico right now recently overtook uh, China as being the largest uh, source of imports into this country, a little over 15 percent. It was only 12 percent a few years ago. So Mexico has been picking up steam. And the question is, if you're Mexico, do you really want to take the U.S. on? I don't think so. I, having said that, you can't look like you're just going to fall down. And I think uh, if you look at certain sectors that were most hit today, the auto sector specifically, it's, it's argued that you know some 97 billion, I'm quoting actually Emmanuel Rossner at Wolf, who said 97 billion worth of auto parts are shipped to the U.S. from other countries, but specifically through Mexico and Canada. Um, so there, there are places that are particularly well, you know, I think hurt more than others. GM, which had also been riding very high coming into today, I think that partly explains some of that move. But uh, look, I, I think we've, we've speculated now for weeks. We had a day yesterday. This is why this is fascinating stuff and why it's, this is a trading show. Because yesterday we had Scott Besant, new Treasury at least secretary, proposed right. uh, is someone that says, hey, look, I'm going to do my best or at least it was thought he's the, the, the moderate voice in the room and the room that's going to be worried about deficits and probably not push as hard on tariffs. We'll see. I think it's a lot of bluster. I mean, we have four years to kind of see what happened in the first administration. We've heard uh, lots of tweets over the last four years. And you think about it, I mean, he has to kind of try to follow through with some of the promises he made on the campaign trail. I go back to September when he threatened John Deere, great American company, with 200 percent tariffs for equipment coming in from Mexico. Well, at the end of the day, 5 percent of their sales come from Mexico, right? Three quarters of their production happens here in the U.S. So I, I guess at the end of the day, a lot of U.S. companies are probably not going to make any big moves as it relates to manufacturing based on these threats. Because I think that if you look at all the nominations, I think a lot of folks, to Tim's point, look at a guy like Besson and they say these folks are going to have some pretty decent influence, not too different than Gary Cohn in the first administration. So I, I just don't think you're going to see too many um, big decisions by U.S. manufacturers based on these threats right now. And overall, the markets are acting fairly well, taking all this in stride, Katie. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, we have very positive momentum, of course, behind the major indices, and it shows optimism around the administration. So we got to stay with the momentum, really, the relative performance, U.S. versus international, especially Mexico, maybe to a lesser degree, Canada, is still very positive. And we want to stay on the right side of that trade, at least as long as it's working and it's still working.